Hey, what's up? John Sonmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So, I thought it was about time that I did a review on my Surface Book that I got about, what is it, almost, almost six months, I think six months ago. As you may know, if you followed me for, uh, for, for some time, you know that I am switching technologies, I'm switching laptops. A lot of times I've written up blog posts, there's several blog posts. Uh, you know, the latest one was when I switched, I think when I switched to Surface Book, I might have said when I switched to a Mac or where I went all mobile. There's a few of these kind of technology ones. Uh, maybe I didn't do one when I switched to the Surface Book exclusively. But this has been my laptop. It has been my personal computer for quite some time now. And I think I'm finally ready to do a review. I know a lot of you have requested a review. I don't normally do a lot of hardware reviews here, but I'll probably start doing some. If, you like, if you'd like to see me do more kind of technical hardware reviews and stuff, the book reviews have been popular. So uh, give me a thumbs up here, give me a comment and say, I want you to review all kinds of technical stuff. Right, which is always fun because then people send you stuff. If you have something that you want to send me, uh, you can email me, and I, I we'll see. You know, I'm 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 not doing any kind of. I'm doing honest reviews here, right? Because this is just stuff that I use. So let's take a look at this Surface Book. Right, you can see my Trello board on there. Uh, it's pretty slick. It's pretty nice. Uh, the, the things, let's talk about what I like about this, first of all. So one of the things I really like about the Surface Book is how light it is, right? It's a pretty light thing and it has ridiculous battery life. And the reason why is because with the Surface Book, it's, it's essentially got, you know, a battery in here and in here in both sides. And it's, uh, of course, if you haven't seen this before, the disconnect, uh, it, it separates, which uh, it does pretty well. Right, so I've got this and now it's a tablet. Now I'll have to, I'll, ad, I'll admit, I don't use this as a tablet pretty much ever. Uh, it's nice to have, but um, you know, and then you've got the keyboard of course. But when you connect this up, you know, it's kind of innovative in the fact that when it is in the tablet mode, that it is basically, it, it uses the integrated graphics, but when you, connect it to the keyboard, then it uses the, the full like real 3D graphics. And, and this actually will run Fallout 4. I, I had Fallout 4 going on here. Not, not, not the best, right? But it actually is better than the 13 inch MacBook Pro. In fact, one of the silly reasons why I upgraded was because I had a 13, I maxed out 13 inch MacBook Pro and I was like, what? You can't run Fallout 4 on this? This is nuts. So. This does, you know, a 15 inch MacBook will, will, will do it as well. But this is nice and portable, right? It's nice and easy for me to carry around. I can take it, I don't have my bag, I've got this Tom Bin bag, but I can put it in there and it'll actually fit in there nicely. Now it also comes with a stylus like this pen. I thought I was gonna use this a lot, but I don't actually use this very much. And I was using this exclusively without any kind of dock or, or monitor for quite some time, especially when I moved here to San Diego. And I thought, okay, well, I'll use the pen a lot, I'll draw. And it's just not quite there yet to, to the usage. And plus, now that I do have it docked to a desktop, it, it, it gets even less usage. So I used to carry the pen around with the magnet holder, which is actually very well designed. This magnetic holder works really well. It actually sticks to, to, the, to the thing. But I decided to stop uh, carrying around just in case I might lose the pen and because I'm not actually using the pen. But when I did use the pen, it does work excellent. It, it draws really well, it's pressure sensitive. You can erase on there, it's very natural. I don't use OneNote, but that would, that would work really well for that. So, so yeah, so I like, uh, I like that. I like the form factor. You know, I had the, I, I've gone through all the surfaces, right? I had the, the Surface Pro, the original, the Surface Pro 2, the Surface Pro 3, and I basically sold or returned all of those. Uh, and I'll, it keeps on doing that. <laughs> it's looking for me, but and I'll tell you why. It's because that stupid keyboard sucked. It really did, and the trackpad on it sucked, but this one doesn't. This is good, it's a solid keyboard, 
you know, and and again, the Surface Pros were designed for for tablet mode, and I found that I didn't, I don't use it. You know, I just wanted a clamshell laptop, but this this gave me the option. So I'm I'm still not a hundred percent sold because I'm not using this as a tablet. You know, I'm not much a consumer of content content so much. I can just use my phone. So I could see this though. I could see someone using this as as a tablet. You know, when I use the iPad a lot. This this would would have made more sense to me, and you know you could just grab this 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 piece and and utilize it. I, I could probably incorporate it into my schedule more, but you know I'm so busy that I don't. <laughs> you know, same thing with with the the, the stylus. I think oh, I should be drawing or or using it in some way, figuring out some good way you know, to do screenshots or something you know easily and mark things up and and stuff like that. So. I kind of appreciate the idea. I'm not sure if my next laptop will be a Surface or if it will just be a clamshell one because I, like I said, I don't disconnect this enough. But if you do, this is awesome. And just having that extra battery is is pretty awesome. So, uh, so yeah, so I really like all of that stuff. Uh, I also like uh, the the idea behind a lot of a lot of this. I mean, it has a front and rear facing camera. The I, I like. Well, here's another thing about this that, that I'd say with the, with the Surface Book is I like how upgradable this is, that this that you can actually get a powerful. This thing is actually powerful, right? It, it's actually pretty dang powerful as far as as the processor in here and the memory configuration, right? This is more powerful than a 13-inch MacBook Pro that that's fully upgraded. At least, you know, definitely in graphics capability. You know, there's you could make some argument comparing them, but essentially for me. It, it, I definitely noticed the power difference, right? I can run everything, run full apps on here, and and it, uh, yeah, and it, and it's still slim. So now let's get to the bad parts of this. So it's not all good. The the biggest problem I had with this, what I still have with this, is it's really really buggy. There's a lot of hardware problems. There's a lot of things that just didn't get worked out yet. Now. They're getting better. They're getting a lot better. When it first came out, it was just hell. Like you know, the, the disconnect wouldn't work. The resolution would go weird on me. It would it would go into sleep and, and not come out. I still have some of those issues, but most of them are solved right now. You know, there were phantom touches, all that kind of stuff. The dock also was was messed up. I've got a Surface dock here. And I've got this connected to my monitor and keyboard and everything. But I love the, I love how it connects to the dock, right? There's this little connector here, and it it's a connector for both the the power for the the system as well as the information. Now there is uh, some limitations on the bandwidth here, which I noticed because this is basically just USB three, I believe, coming through here. So you know, when I had my webcam and I had a 4K display and I had a bunch of other stuff going through there, it didn't, it, it couldn't handle the throughput. But right now I have a widescreen, ultra wide monitor. I've got mic, I've got, you know, uh, webcam and I've been able to run them all at once and not, not have a problem. So uh, this thing does heat up pretty bad as well. But you know that's I guess that's not an issue if it doesn't if it doesn't break and uh, yeah so you know the biggest thing like I said is, has been the bugs with with a lot of the touch the, the docking really didn't work very well at first now it seems to work now it seems like if I dock this thing it's gonna it's gonna come up but um, but yeah I'm I'm impressed with it you know it's it's a keeper in my mind I think that you know it pretty much does everything that I need it's it's portable enough that I can carry this around and it's powerful enough that it can be my desktop. And that's the key thing I think for me at this point is that it needed to be portable enough and powerful enough. And I could make it even more portable if I needed to by just separating the keyboard out. So, you know, that's that's always always good, right? And I suppose I could get like a really portable keyboard or I don't know, I probably wouldn't do do something like that. But um, you know, it, it could be a little bit lighter, I suppose. You know, the next generation. Not, what I'm excited about is that this is a, now a proven concept, and this this makes sense. Like this form factor makes a lot of sense to me, and it, it has a lot. It's it's like so much in the right direction. You know, I, I feel like the Surface 
pros were not that this was it was a great concept a great experiment but it just wasn't very usable it wasn't very typable right you know I, I used this exclusively for a long time before I even had it hooked up to the dock and I was able to get a lot of stuff done you know it's got an excellent display on here although at the highest resolution you're not going to be using it on the you know you're going to use it as more of retina image display so you know that but that's that's not a that's just a physical limitation but yeah overall i i, I like it you know I, I would recommend it but i'm really excited for the next generation i feel like the next generation is probably going to be so much better i think there was just a lot of improvements you know microsoft did good in 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 building this in designing this and they did good in doing a lot of updates you know they fixed a lot of problems with it like i said it still has some issues but most of those are resolved honestly at this point and uh, and like i said I, I i like it and and it, it works for me you know the, the the key thing is that it is powerful enough to replace a desktop and and i the only thing that i've ever had that's been powerful enough to really replace a desktop in my mind and for what i do has been the 15 inch macbook pro fully upgraded and that is not portable enough but this is just the right size to be portable enough so anyway that's it that's my review you know i'm not going in depth into the specs on this thing if you're looking for that kind of review i'm sure you can find that somewhere else but my if i do technical reviews i mean let me know what you think but my plan for technical reviews is just to say what i think about it what i like it and you know, what i like about it you know what i don't like about it and not go into the tech the, the in-depth tech specs but if you want that you know maybe we could do we'll, we'll see i see how popular these are and how in-depth maybe i'll do more camera angles and you know unboxings and stuff like that but uh, but for now i'm just going to give you straight up this is my opinion you know surface book pro i'll give it a thumbs up all right uh, if you like this video subscribe <laughs> i'll probably do some more so take care